Hello curious minds and welcome back to our channel where we offer interesting knowledge. In this video we'll confront the inevitable and mysterious what happens to your body during cremation. It's a subject that sparks both intrigue and contemplation inviting us to peer into the profound process that occurs after our final breath. In a world where tradition, science, and spirituality intersect, understanding cremation is not just a scientific exploration but a reflective discourse into the very essence of our existence. So get ready! Ready, find a comfortable spot and let's dive deep into the heart of this ancient practice. Together we'll demystify the secrets, unravel the rituals, and perhaps discover a new perspective on the cycle of life. Before we delve into the deeper details, let's start with the basics. What exactly is cremation? Cremation is a time-honored method of final disposition, transcending cultures and spanning centuries. At its core, it involves the transformation of the human body into ashes through the application of intense heat. This process is conducted in a specially designed facility facility known as a crematorium and it has become an increasingly prevalent choice for those seeking an alternative to traditional burial practices. The journey begins when the deceased is respectively placed in a designated cremation container or casket. These containers come in various materials such as wood, cardboard, or combustible metals. The primary goal is to facilitate the dignified and safe passage of the deceased into the cremation chamber. Inside the cremation chamber, temperatures soar to an astonishing 1400 to 1800 degrees Fahrenheit, 760 to 90 82 degrees Celsius. This intense heat initiates a two-phase breakdown of the body, ultimately resulting in what we commonly refer to as ashes or cremated remains. But there's more to this process than meets the eye. Stay with me as we uncover the science and symbolism behind each step of what happens to your body during cremation. Preparing for cremation is a delicate and respectful process that precedes the actual transformation within the cremation chamber. Once the deceased is in the care of the funeral home or crematorium, the first step involves placing the body in a designated cremation container or casket. These containers serve multiple purposes, ensuring both the safety of the process and the dignity of the departed. Common materials include wood, cardboard, or even combustible metals. The choice often reflects personal preferences, cultural traditions, or environmental considerations. Before proceeding, any combustible items are carefully removed. This includes items like jewelry, pacemakers, or other metal objects, as these could potentially interfere with the cremation process. The focus is on creating a controlled and safe environment within the cremation chamber. This preparation phase also involves documentation and identification to ensure the correct procedures are followed for each individual. A solemn respect is maintained maintained throughout, recognizing the significance of the transition from this world to the next. As we move forward in understanding our topic today, it becomes clear that this initial stage is a crucial and respectful prelude to the profound transformation that awaits within the confines of the cremation chamber. Now that we've set the stage with the preparatory measures, let's step into the heart of the matter. The different stages of cremation. Picture, if you will. The solemn setting of a cremation chamber where the body undergoes a fascinating metamorphosis through a series of carefully orchestrated phases. As the cremation chamber door closes, a process of gradual and controlled heat begins. The temperatures rise steadily to an astonishing 1400 to 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. In this initial phase, the body undergoes rapid changes. Water content evaporates and the organic matter such as muscles and tissues start to oxidize. This phase is relatively swift, taking place within the first first hour of the cremation process. Amidst the intense heat, a remarkable phenomenon occurs. While much of the body is reduced to ashes, the skeletal structure comprised of bones remains remarkably resilient. These bones are, in a sense, the silent witnesses to the life that once was. They withstand the heat, maintaining a recognizable form despite the transformative forces at play. With the initial breakdown complete, the cremation enters its second phase. The remaining bones have endured the crucible of heat and are carefully extracted from the chamber. These bones, though altered, still bear the essence of the individual. It's at this juncture that the human remains take a different path, moving from the intense heat of the cremation chamber to the processing room. Enter the cremulator, a machine designed for a task both delicate and significant. The cremulator, resembling a large blender, serves as the final instrument in the transformational journey. The extracted bones are placed into the cremulator where they undergo a mechanical process to become the fine powder we commonly associate with cremated remains. It's here that the 
the tangible remnants of the skeletal structure are reduced to a consistency resembling ash. The processed remains, often referred to as cremains, consist of the fine powder resulting from the cremation process. This substance is a combination of the original bones and any residue remaining from the intense heat. The end product, while commonly thought of as ash, contains these trace elements offering a unique and tangible connection to the individual who has undergone this transformative journey. It's important to note that the entire process is conducted with the utmost respect and dignity, recognizing the profound nature of what occurs within the walls of the crematorium. While the term ash is commonly used, it's crucial to understand that cremated remains aren't entirely devoid of residue. Small bone fragments may persist, adding to the composition of the final product. This mixture of ashes and bone fragments creates a substance that holds both symbolic and tangible value for those left behind. As we unravel the stages of cremation, it becomes evident that each phase contributes to a carefully choreographed dance between the elements in the human form. The ashes, though transformed, encapsulate the essence of the individual, a poignant reminder of the intricate nature of life and its inevitable conclusion. Understanding these stages allows us to appreciate the complexity and symbolism embedded in the process what happens to your body during cremation is more than a scientific inquiry. It's an exploration of the profound journey from the physical to the ethereal, encapsulated in the remains that bear witness to the transformative forces at play. Cremation, with its roots tracing back centuries, stands in stark contrast to the long-standing tradition of burial. Traditional burial involves placing the deceased in a casket and interring it in the ground. This method has deep cultural and religious roots, with many viewing the burial plot as a sacred space, a tangible marker that serves as a physical connection to the departed. One of the key factors influencing the choice between cremation and burial is the environmental impact. Cremation, while emitting carbon dioxide and other pollutants, generally requires less physical space than a traditional burial plot. This consideration becomes increasingly significant in our world where sustainability and conservation are at the forefront of societal consciousness. Economics also plays a role in this decision-making process. Cremation is often considered a more cost-effective option compared to the expenses associated with a traditional burial, including the casket, burial plot, and headstone. As families navigate these decisions, financial considerations can significantly impact the choice between cremation and burial. While cremation provides a unique connection through the tangible remains of ashes, traditional burial offers a physical location for remembrance. A gravesite becomes a place for family and friends to visit, reflect, and pay their respects, a concrete reminder of the individual's existence beyond the physical realm. Cultural and religious perspectives exert a powerful influence on these choices. Some cultures view cremation as a respectful and efficient means of handling the deceased, while others adhere strictly to traditional burial rites. Understanding and respecting these cultural and religious perspectives is vital in appreciating the diversity in end-of-life practices. In the end, the decision between cremation and traditional burial is deeply personal, influenced by a multitude of factors. Some may find solace in the permanence of a gravesite, while others seek the simplicity and eco-friendliness of cremation. As we conclude our exploration into what happens to your body during during cremation, it's evident that this process is more than a mere scientific phenomenon. It's a profound journey touching on culture, tradition, and personal choice. From the careful preparation stages to the intense heat of the cremation chamber, we've unveiled the science and symbolism encapsulated in this age-old practice. Whether one chooses the transformative path of cremation or the timeless tradition of burial, the decision is a reflection of individual values, cultural influences, and environmental considerations. The ashes from cremation or the marked graves from traditional burial serve as poignant reminders of our shared humanity in the complex tapestry of life and death. Thank you for joining me on this enlightening journey. If you found this exploration thought-provoking, don't forget to hit the like button, share with those seeking knowledge, and subscribe for more captivating insights. Let's continue our quest for understanding on our channel. Until next time, stay curious, stay respectful, and may the mysteries of life inspire you to explore even further.